Wednesday morning was chilly in downtown Kelowna, but it didn't stop some hardy souls from coming out and exercising. Gathering outdoors for a group workout might have taken off during the pandemic, but it's nothing new for members of the November Project. Kelowna's crew had a special visitor this week, the co-founder of the movement. I know I can. I know I can. I know I can. So the reason I'm here is because uh, one part of my job is to drop in and experience November Project as it comes to life in cities around the world. So the way that they do it in Hong Kong is very similar, almost exactly the same as what they do here in Kelowna and in New York City and in Orlando and in London, England and, and around the world. The one thing that makes it very special is that the local leaders, we call them co-leaders, do it their own way in terms of how they gather, where they work out, maybe it's on a hill, maybe it's near the water, maybe it's at the sales. And so I haven't yet experienced November Project Kelowna, so I had to come see for myself. The free weekday outdoor exercise challenge all started when Brogan and a college buddy made a pact more than a decade ago. My teammate from college, he and I started uh, November Project in November 2011 in Boston. It was supposed to be a one month kind of challenge or a bet to wake up and work out every morning before work. Uh, and that one month turned into the entire winter. And then we started inviting people to join our workouts in the spring of 2012. The November project is now in 53 communities in nine countries and boasts 250,000 members. The local group began meeting up six years ago. In Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.